Welcome back to this guy's garage. Today we're going to talk about Service Bolt 19 2338 and what you need to know about it. Coming up. This guy's garage. Like and subscribe. So if you're having trouble with your F-150, let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know what your issues are. Uh, we'll keep up to date together on this. So hit the subscribe button, get the notifications, and uh, we'll keep you up to date. For a lot of you folks out there, um, you, you may be experiencing oil consumption issues with uh, your F-150. So here's the skinny. Let's look at the service bolt. Well, Ford did it. They moved the goal post. This article supersedes TSB 19-2133 to update the vehicle model years affected service procedure and parts list. It's 2018 and 19 now. F-150 is equipped with a 5 liter may exhibit excessive oil consumption with no visible leaks. Action. Follow the service procedure on vehicles that meet all of the following criteria. 2018-2019 F-150 5 liter. Concerns of excessive oil with no additional symptoms. Well, there is the... There is the crux of the problem right there, folks. The big issue with this is... Why are they using oil? They're telling us that the computer is closing the throttle body or opening the throttle body. The computer's doing something that it's not supposed to be doing and it's pulling pulling oil into the into the throttle body. Let's go back to this statement. This is the most important part of this technical service bulletin, and I'll explain why. Customers concern of excessive oil consumption with no additional symptoms. Here is the most important part of this technical service bulletin with no additional symptoms. So, since the day I bought my truck, I was complaining about spark knock. Well, it never popped a coat. Here's the reason why it never popped a coat. It wasn't spark knock. It was piston slap. And piston slap is what you have is when the bore is too big for the piston and it moves around and it makes a slapping noise. So you can hear this at idle and you'll definitely hear it when you're taking a grade going uphill at the engine you'll hear a rattle rattle rattle. Now this engine is plagued with a few rattles so when you're explaining this to your service advisor because everything is going to be an issue of semantics when you're dealing with these people you have to make the case and they will play dumb. So when I, I talked to them about uh, the engine rattle I was having, piston slap, they talked. They looked at me like I had two heads. Like they never heard of this before. Now come on. Here's here's the biggest problem they have is so many of these trucks have. They don't have enough engines to put replace all the five liter engines that they're having problems with. This is the problem. Getting back, I'm going to take you for a little spin in my F-150 and sh try to show you what piston slaps sounds like so you'll, you'll be able to hear this your engine will s just sound rattly under idle and when you're going uphill it, it'll it'll rattle like sparking out it's because your pistons rattling around in the hole it's it's not it's not a good thing
now that you know what you're listening for, when you take your truck in for this service complaint, make sure you make the case and make them aware of this because if they have no other concerns, they're just going to blow smoke up your arse and tell you that, you know, a computer fix is going to fix it. When a computer cannot fix a over overbore on an engine, that and that's the, the long and short of it. So, here's the other side note. I'd be happy to trade in this pile of junk that I'm driving. But you know what? It's been, it has an atrocious service record. It's been back 15 times for service. At least, at least 15 times. And the service record is so abysmal on this thing, it's worth nothing. Get the Carfax. 